We are here to rewire to receive. Please take a deep breath and welcome all of you here because all of you here is what's needed, what's required to help you manifest, to create the life, the business that you desire, that heart-led, soul-led living. So welcome all of you here and once again inviting you to bring your full focus, your full attention, your full presence here with us now. Bless us with your presence, bless yourself with your own presence, the gift of you for the world and for this space together today that we are co-creating together today. It's looking at where are you stopping or blocking yourself from receiving what you truly desire, right? You say you want to be this heart-led, soul-led, wealthy business owner, shining your great gifts in the world. But where are you blocking yourself from really receiving that, from welcoming that reality in, from embodying it, from taking that next step? This is huge. This is so huge. And this is happening particularly because I work primarily with women. Um, this, so I talk a lot about women, but this is happening at every level, right? So whether you are you know, wanting to bring in your first kind of consistent two grand a month, or whether you're working with you know, multi-millions. So clients I've, you know, I've been coaching who are working on multi-million dollar contracts within their business, it's the same wound, it's the same pattern. This is what I find immensely fascinating. So we need to look at where that receiving block is because there is a huge cost. There's a huge, huge cost to not to this kind of receiving block, to the money block, to not be able to take in. And for, again, for women who are actually successful in business, you know, who are, who are bringing in money and doing well, what I see is, you know, overwhelmed, burnout, overworking, um, a lot of giving out. And, you know, perhaps maybe in her personal life, she's not feeling loved or supported. Maybe she she's struggling, you know, with relationship, for example, or health, for example. Um, and, you know, for, for other women, it might be around money, not, not actually being able to welcome money into your life, for example. Money is just one aspect of it. It goes so much deeper. It's about love. It's about connection. It's about intimacy. It's about fulfillment. And what we want to do is make sure that we are working on this receiving wound because wherever you go and however you grow, if that's not checked, even like even if you are bringing in those millions it's sort of like there might still be those missing pieces so this is why i call this work living abundance we want to bring in that vibration of abundance into everything you're doing and creating and that might take a little bit longer right to get that alignment but then it really is truly bringing you more core fulfillment um with whatever you're doing and um, so this is this is the idea now the challenge is, the, the, the really big challenge here is that your receiving blocks, the parts that stop you from receiving are really often in the unconscious. So it's not conscious. It's, it's hard to see it. One of my superpowers is that I can see into your abundance blocks, into your receiving blocks, into your money blocks. I can feel it. I can see it. I can work with it. I can communicate with it. It's one of my gifts. And yet, what happens with most people is, is there isn't awareness to what's going on. So it's like this can be the sense of like bashing your head against a brick wall. Why is this not working for me? Keeping you and spinning your wheels or in the cycle of struggle, the cycle of not enough. And it's deep. It's very, very deep, this rewiring to receive. And it's a journey. It's not all necessarily just going to shift immediately. This is why the Living Abundance Mastermind is a 12-month program. I've run it at different lengths. And it's like we need time to integrate, to shift, to change, to feel safe as well, to bring that safety in the body and the nervous system to welcome this new aligned version of you. So we're going to go on a really powerful journey together today, but please be patient with yourself and please be aware that there may be things you're not aware of yet. And this is part of our healing journey, our transformation journey is looking at the wounds, the wounds of separation. What, what has happened? What's been happening within your body, within your life, or also the, your ancestral line that is stopping you from essentially feeling safe to receive or feeling like you're allowed to receive or it's okay to receive or it's even possible to receive 
right? And and particularly for for women, um, there's a there's a lot more wounding around that. Um, so it's it's our job to really turn this around because we have to start within each individual. One of us needs to start kind of making this interchange because no one else is gonna. You know, if you wait for permission or wait for someone to, you know, validate you or tell you, yes, it's time, it's okay. Like, I'm here to do that for sure. But you need to also really keep doing that for yourself and keep giving that to yourself no matter what. No matter what you kind of see in the outside world. Choose it for yourself first and then life will start to mirror that back to you in time. This inner transformation for outer change. So, super. Alrighty. Um... And yeah, and I've mentioned some of the costs, but we need to look at. So I'd actually like you to think now. I'd like you to think. What are the costs that are manifesting or showing up in your life to your you not receiving, your, your blocks to receiving? How is that showing up? Because we are manifesting all the time, all the time. So what are you creating from your receiving blocks, from not being able to receive? What does that create in your life? Let's get really honest. This isn't about you know, judgment or criticism. This is just about getting really real with yourself. Like, what is the impact? And, it, and it's not just you, it's everyone. <laughs> just so you know, I'm always still working with receiving blocks. So this isn't about being perfect. This isn't about, you know, getting it right or getting it wrong. This is just about getting really freaking honest. And um, yeah, and starting with you. So what are the costs to your receiving blocks, to your money blocks, to not being able to receive into your life, into your business, into your bank account. And if anyone's feeling brave, I'd love you to share because I think it's really valuable for us to realize that we're not alone here, right? It's not just you. So let's let's think about that. Let's think about what the cost is. You might have more awareness as I take you through the activation today. The cost for me, right? So part of me is this, my, I call my wounder, wounded healer archetype. When I was a healer wanting to save the world and rescue the world and change the world, I was giving out, wanting to give out, give out, give out, which is great and that's beautiful, but I wasn't receiving back in. And so that showed up in the form of no money or very little money, right? That showed up for me in the form of no, not being seen, not being recognized, not being valued for my work, um, underpaid. Um, not, you know, being able to have enough clients, not being able to kind of show up and be visible, not being able to share what I'm doing in the world. Um, it, it also made me feel very alone, very isolated, very separate, very sad. Um, it made me feel very tired a lot, uh, feeling super tired, depleted, overwhelmed, anxious, you know, just to name a few, <laughs> just to name a few. So... Um, so yeah, the cost for me was constant worry. Yes. So what that does to the mind, so it's that kind of fear, anxiety, worry. Uh, yeah, all, all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's really, really fascinating and it can show up in, in yeah, not having the amount of clients you want, not landing the contracts that you want, not being able to get the job that you want, because when we're not receiving your, your value doesn't shine through. It doesn't shine through and, and people receive it. People, people are feeling it unconsciously all the time and reacting against your receiving block. It's fascinating. It's really, really fascinating. Let's get your body ready for receiving. We're going to tell your body that it's safe to receive. We'd like you to say yes to receiving. And we're going to go on a journey to support, to let your heart lead, your soul lead, to open you up to receive and to become, right? You're receiving, but you're also becoming this next level to welcome in, to welcome in the next level, right? Of what you're calling in. So we're gonna get your body, your energy system, your nervous system kind of ready. So I'm just talking to it a little bit before we go in a little bit deeper. So we're welcoming in, we're bringing in your intention, what you wanna manifest, what you wanna create. Here it is, bringing it in front of you now. Beautiful, thank you so much. And we're going to, again, just simply with the breath and with the inhale, we're going to start inviting, inviting, breathing in your intention into your body. Now, I want you to imagine, for those with vaginas, <laughs> I want you to imagine breathing that in, up into the vagina, into the body, right? Up through into the perineum. So if you can imagine through the base chakra, we're going to breathe it into the body. We're going to breathe it in through that base chakra because we need to start again helping that the foundations of yourself to 
to receive, to welcome in from the base, from the floor up. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Gorgeous. We're opening to receive that feminine energy that's opening up to receive, that's calling in, that's almost seducing in, breathing in, moving in, dancing in, welcoming into your body. Right? So immediately, even as I start to say that, right, we hold a lot of trauma and wounding, right? All that baseline, base safety is held at the, the base, the base chakra, all around our perineum, that whole part of the body. So immediately, you might be coming up some old protection. That survival fear, a survival protection is there. This is part of what we're doing. In time, we're starting to build more safety within your body, that it's safe to welcome in. So please know that we can hold a lot of trauma here. There is a lot of trauma here. So we hold this with a lot of love and safety. There's no rush, there's no forcing. We stay super relaxed. If you imagine your body experience is open sorry opens when you feel relaxed and safe your body opens to pleasure when you feel relaxed and safe so we need to breathe in and build in that safety so that you can open up to receive so we want to welcome in it's your body's natural state to actually receive right that inhale so we're welcoming in through every level of your being through your whole energy body your physical body your nervous system, the mind, the emotions, your mental body, your energy body, all aspects of yourself are opening up to receive, to take in, to ingest, to welcome, to breathe in your intention. And we love, we love when you release and let go of everything and anything that's stopping you or blocking you from receiving now. We let it go with so much love with so much love and care, that it's time, it's simply time. And there may be a releasing as you're receiving, they tend to go hand in hand, open it to receive, breathing into your beautiful body, letting your heart, letting your body, letting your soul guide you and show you how to do this, that it's safe, that it's time, that it's okay, that it's allowed, opening up to receive now. We're going to start breathing that into your body. You can imagine taking it into the womb space, right? It can be your energetic womb if you don't have a womb. That womb space, breathing it in, welcoming it into your body. So you start to become it. Or you can imagine almost being pregnant with your intention, allowing it to grow, allowing it to start to grow within. And in time, we're going to breathe that intention up through your spine, up into the nervous system. So we're breathing it in where you start to embody, you start to inhabit it, welcome it up, in, through, up into the spine, into the body, up into the brain, into the mind. So you're starting to inform the mind, inform your thinking, right, in a way that's in alignment with what you're receiving. Soothing and calming the mind from that sort of protection, that knee-jerk protection, or say, hey, it's safe to receive, or welcoming it into the body. Becoming it now, welcoming it now. Teaching your body, your mind, your emotions, your nervous system, your energy system, that it's safe to receive, it's time to receive. Relaxing, opening, receiving, welcoming in. Saying yes, saying yes, we keep saying yes. Courageously opening, surrendering to the unknown. Your body knows, your body knows. We're waking up this cellular memory within your DNA that knows exactly, exactly how to create, exactly how to welcome in. Allowing that heart consciousness to lead you, guide you, that body wisdom to lead you, guide you, that soul wisdom to lead you, guide you, that earth wisdom to lead you, guide you, receiving in from the beautiful earth, receiving in from all life around you, that it is safe to receive now. And you are choosing it now, breathing into your body. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
We're rewiring to receive. Informing your whole body, your whole being, safe to receive. Now becoming it now. Waking up so you actually become your intention. Every cell in your body becoming it now, embodying it now, welcoming it now. Moving with your intention. Waking that up in the body. And so it is. And so it is. Welcoming your new reality. Opening the doors. Letting the heart and soul and body lead you, guide you, show you the way through, the way in. Informing the mind. So the mind is being led by the heart. Heart led leadership. We work with where the body is now, where you are now. We're not forcing. We breathe to receive at the level that you're able to receive now. There's always another level. So please relax into where you are now. You may need to work with your inner child for a while. You may need to work with some of those old trauma patterns. Your body may not feel safe yet to open up to receive. And this is why we take this one step at a time, one breath at a time, one moment at a time. We cannot force change. So we listen, we honor, we acknowledge, we breathe with, we hold and support. And really with so much compassion, how confronting it is to receive what it is you truly desire for some aspects of yourself. Those old patterns and programs are desperately clinging on for dear life. The old systems and structures will not go down easily, right? This is running through your energy body now. So we lovingly choose and keep choosing and keep choosing again to keep open to receive and releasing and letting go. Lots of patience, lots of compassion, trust and faith. And from that space, you can actually transform much faster, even though it's not about speed. Hmm? You allow yourself to expand. So your heart, your soul, your body is ready to expand into a whole other level now. Let's see if you can expand your capacity to receive. That's what if you get out of the way? Surrender, surrender. We're gonna hold that little one and lead. Be that full embodied, healthy adult leading from the heart, leading from the soul. Breathing in, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much love and gratitude. So much love and gratitude. So let's breathe in, keep breathing in, keep receiving, receiving, receiving. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Building that safety throughout your body, breathe in. Relax and release, ah, oh, letting go, letting go, letting go. Breathe in to receive, expanding, expanding into your body. Relax and releasing, letting go. And expanding into every cell, waking up, remembering, reminding yourself where you are now, releasing, relaxing, letting go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Welcoming the integration, allowing this to integrate digest land to start embodying this right on a deeper level today thank you and so very very slowly very very slowly we're going to invite you to come back this new expanded version of you this more open more receptive version of you welcoming this new level this new aspect of yourself here Thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcoming yourself back slowly, slowly.